Alrighty, I hope everybody is doing well. The, uh, the father's been on me to do this. Um, eh, he's been on me the last few days. And I've been kind of hesitant, but, um, well, I'm going to be real honest here. I, you know, <laughs> I know how this goes, and I, I don't want the, uh, the father to schwack my pee-pee, so, uh, how you doing? Uh, so I'm here. This might be a little lengthy, so you might want to get yourself a little comfortable. And, um, you know, the stuff I discuss, I'll put links, of course, in the description in the first comment. Um, as well, and while War News 24-7, I'll just put their link. I'm going to be, most of what I'm covering is going to be coming from War News 24-7. And um, I'm just going to put their link below. You should probably add WarNews247.gr to your bookmarks. Um, and, you know, pay close attention to it. It's, when it comes to military conflicts and stuff like that going on around the world, I find that, um, War News 24-7 is, uh, they're very accurate, um, and, uh, they, they cover it. They have it. And from what I see, they're not, they're not, I haven't noticed how they're, um, propagandized in any way they just they put the information out there and that's what I expect out of a, a, a news platform just give me the information I'll decide how to feel about it so uh, I want to start off I was just going to talk about War News 24 7 um, however shortly before I um, <laughs> shortly before I came out to do this video uh, there's a headline that came out on RT and I'm looking now for my RT app so I can uh, so I can talk to you about that and then we'll get into the main part of this. And I am not seeing the RT app on my phone. Hmm. Well, isn't that interesting? Yeah, I'm not seeing... Oh, wait. That's because I don't think RT has an app. Hang on. <laughs> they may not even have an app. I can't remember. That's not how I got information from them anyway. So, okay, and I will. Um, I'll. I'll put images or whatever pictures of what the article looks like up on the screen. I'll just flash it up there or whatever. But you'll have the link as well. So, confused Biden clips are deep fakes, says the White House. Huh. <laughs> so. Apparently, apparently, live video is now uh, deep fakes. So, yeah, this is this is coming from that Karine Jean Pierre, however you pronounce her name, uh, saying that all these all these videos of them freezing up and looking confused and all that stuff is all staged. It's not. Uh, it's manipulated. Manipulated, not staged. Manipulated. I want to use the proper word here. Um, you know, described them as cheap fakes and blah, blah, blah. And they are doing everything they can to prop Joe up. And uh, this is by far... <laughs> so yesterday, a uh, local news affiliate, KMOV, they posted... Uh, I think it was KMOV. Uh, again, I'll flash a picture of the article up on the screen. I'll leave the link for it below in the description and first comment. But... They posted an article about RV sales, you know, recreational vehicles, and they were talking about how uh, throughout history, RV sales have often correlated with the economy. And so that if the RV sales were picking up, that meant the economy was picking up. And so they were trying to promote uh, the ideal that the economy was doing better and that there was a clear indicator that the economy was doing better uh, because of the increase of sales of RVs. Well, to the astute <laughs> person, you realize that the uh, the reason that RV sales are picking up is because people are buying them to live in them. Because <laughs> being able to afford a house and everything that goes along with that is becoming uh, more and more unobtainable or unkeepable, right? And so a lot of people are looking for alternatives, whether that be moving in with family members or, you know, whatever the case may be, well, some individuals decide, well, they want to get an RV and 
you know, and that's always been my life dream. My life dream was to be able to get an RV and tra and just travel the country, just travel the country. That's what I wanted for my retirement. So, sorry, I know I just brushed up against the microphone. That's how I wanted to uh, spend my retirement. So, yeah, well. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was interesting. They were trying to uh, twist a little bit of financial information uh, in order to make it look like Joe Biden was doing us a solid. And it's crazy because uh, I saw the article on Facebook and I had made a comment on Facebook. And now most people get it, okay? But there are those people that will never get it. And, um, and some of them, of course, replied to my comment. And it's just like, how can you not see this? And then another dude was like, oh, well, I've got, I thought he said something about he had a 47% return or something on some kind of investment. And I'm like, good for you. That has, the, the, the stock market, the market really doesn't have any bearing on the health of the dollar. It doesn't. Especially when you look at the current situation, because we just lost the petrodollar. Okay, that is huge. That is so freaking huge, it's unreal. The very next step is going to be the loss of the global reserve currency, okay? And that's coming. That's just, I don't, I'm not a financial guy, um, but I've got enough common sense to know that that's coming pretty shortly. Now, um, you know, of course, I'm sure you know that gold's up, silver's up, bitcoin's up, you know, and it's a clear indicator when you see those types of things rise, which I'm kind of ignore the Bitcoin, the crypto stuff. But, you know, typically if you see gold and silver go up, that means the dollar's going down. Okay. And so you've got all these indicators that the dollar is in some serious, serious trouble. But yet this cat wants to pull out the fact that he's doing doing well on his investments. I imagine that there's a lot of Bitcoin peeps that are doing well too, you know what I mean? So, anyway, a lot of propaganda going on right now to try to prop up Joe, which is a good thing because if somebody doesn't prop him up, he's going to fall over, right? So, there's that. So, let's get to the main part of why I'm here. Why I've gathered you here today. Uh, and that is um, what is going on um, in, uh, in the world, essentially. I mean, I can't tell you a place because it's the world. It's <sighs> so the biggest reason that I, I very begrudgingly make this video is because of all the war mong or not war mongering, all of that too, but the, the scare mongering, the fear mongering and all that that's going on on YouTube. Um, you got the usual suspects every day. Oh, the end is here, and blah, blah, blah. It started now, and blah, blah. Oh, my God. And it... <sighs> hmm. I just... These people are disgusting. The people that do that, that are on YouTube every single day, trying to scare you into clicking on their video are scumbags. Complete, total scumbags. Anyway. Uh, what I wanted to really kind of point out here um, was a uh, couple of articles. Um, one of them is... Uh, Hang on, let me find it. It looks different on a uh, on a phone than what it does on the computer, so I have to find the right article. Uh, there's a couple of them here that are really important. One of one of them's about the uh, nuclear weapons stockpiles. Um, oh, that's right. I had to go down a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the main thing that I wanted to uh, start off with. The article is titled, uh, and again, I'm going to leave the War News 24-7 link. You need to bookmark that link. Uh, I'm going to mainly just cover or brush over a couple of the articles, um, but there's a lot of important stuff there. 
So this first one here is an article titled Secret Plan for Potential Biden Replacement? Question uh, mark. The USA is buzzing. What will happen in the U.S. election? And it starts out saying the Daily Mail claims there is a possible secret plan by the Democrats to replace Joe Biden before the election. As stated in the report, the Daily Mail, he learned that if Joe stumbles in the first confrontation with Trump, or if his poll numbers continue to slide, it will take a united front of liberal figures to get Joe to throw in the towel. The only people who could force him uh, to go would be Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer. A Democratic official told the DailyMail.com, and the process would be high risk. The report comes on the heels of the Republican uh, Anna Paulina Luna claiming to have heard that Joe Biden will likely be replaced as the Democratic presidential nominee before the November election. Uh, Luna made the remarks during an appearance on Fox News. Um, And so, you know, we can jump down that rabbit hole as deep as what we'd like. I don't intend to jump down it at all, to be honest. But I will say this, I will throw you down a different rabbit hole, okay? Another link that I'm going to leave down below is a link, and I've talked about this multiple times, a link to uh, a playlist, and it's by a guy that I do not support, I do not back, but it's by a guy that goes by JSNEP4. He's got a new channel now, it's JSNEP4 2 or whatever. I'm going to leave the link. Um, to the uh, to the playlist for the John Teeter story, and there'll be a total of a little over three hours worth of content total. There's there's four videos to the uh, John Teeter story, and it, it, like I say, it shakes out to a little bit over uh, three hours in total. And in my opinion, it is a must watch. Um, now, I'm not saying I jump behind and believe lock, stock, and barrel everything with the John Teeter story and all of that. I, No, I don't, you know. But at the same time, there is enough information that he had provided in that video and enough events that he had talked about in that video that have come to light that it most certainly catches my attention. There is a reason I have a insanely strong gut instinct when it comes to uh, those, uh, you know, JSNP4 videos. And I just want to make sure to pass that information on to you, ask you to watch those videos. And uh, I really do think that we're about to start trading some punches, um, some serious punches. Uh, You've got the last I saw... Uh, China, I think, uh, last I heard was moving in like 90 warships or something like that into the South China Sea, uh, something to that effect. Um, and it, it really looks like they could be getting ready to pounce. Um, and then you've got everything going on with the Ukraine-Russia deal. Um, Putin, he may still be in North Korea. I know he visited North Korea. There's, um, they signed a strategic uh, agreement of some kind. I haven't really looked a whole lot into that yet. There's a lot of stuff going on. And I don't want in any way, shape, or form to be an alarmist or anything like that. But folks, this stuff, it's getting there. It is getting there. And the reason I bring up the John Teeter story is because it lays all this out and there are definitely some important indicators in my opinion um that's that's in the john teeter story and uh you know one of the things that i remember very very clearly from the john teeter story is that um talks about a war talks about a nuclear exchange And make something, some kind of a comment to the effect of uh, the people knew. That that there was no doubt what was about to happen. The people knew. And that's where I feel like we are at today. I I think that the large majority of us that aren't scared of our own shadow, that aren't out trying to fear monger, scare monger people. I think all of us, I think our buttholes are getting a little tight. Um... Because things are definitely not in a good spot, and they're not going in a good direction. Um, absolutely not. So let me let me 
hit that uh, other story I was telling you about that involves the uh, stockpiles. NATO nuclear weapons stockpiles opened. Operational readiness of nuclear forces in Europe. Uh, confirmation more news 24-7. This here says NATO activates its nuclear shield fully confirming uh, war news 27 for the permanent vigilance from now on of the... Uh, of the nuclear member countries of the Atlantic Alliance. The decision was made a long time ago as NATO fears either a strike on one of the supply bases of the Ukrainian ED or use of tactical nuclear weapons in Ukraine. We remind you that the Royal Netherlands Air Force assumed a nuclear role in NATO with F-35 fighters from June 1. The USAF will transfer additional F-35s for a nuclear strike on Great Britain while Norway's F-35s are also ready. The UK is estimated to have deployed around 40 of its 225 nuclear warheads, while the US has at least 100 warheads based across Europe. France does not provide NATO with its nuclear arsenal because of a long-standing decision to remain independent on deterrence. Um, so, it says uh, further down, NATO nukes on standby coming out of storage. NATO is in talks. The decision has already been made to develop more nuclear weapons by bringing them out of storage and into readiness in the face of the growing threat from Russia and China, the head of the alliance said today. As Jen Stoltenberg told British newspaper Telegraph, there will be consultations among the members of the alliance for transparency around the use of their nuclear arsenal as a deterrent. I won't go into operational details about how many nuclear warheads should be on standby and how many should be stored, but we have to proceed with consultations on these issues this is exactly what we're doing. Um, so, everybody is upping the ante here. Everybody is. And you want to see something that's just mind-blowing. Uh, that is the rate in which Russia and China are producing weapons. It is absolutely mind-blowing how quickly they are producing weapons uh, and I don't off the top of my head remember the figures but it's just insane and then you got North Korea there too that uh, has a pretty good manufacturing base when it comes to weaponry so you've got three countries that are producing weapons like crazy and that have the capacity and the means to produce weapons like crazy and they're just going at it full tilt. And they are building more and more and more manufacturing facilities and doing everything they can to even ramp up their production higher. I saw something uh, the other day, and I, I laughed when I saw it, um, because it was some, somebody in Europe or something like that is working to be able to uh, up its production of... Um, I want to say it was, well, it said shells. I can't remember the size. I want to say it was 200 and something millimeter, but I'm not positive. But anyway, um, they, the article was something to the effect that they were ramping up to be able to match Russia's production. And I think it's had by 2027, or it could have been 2025. I don't know. But I'm looking at the headline, and I'm like... Uh, what about now? <laughs> pretty sure now is when you need those weapons. Just pretty sure. My honest lighter that I did a review on and was honest about is still kicking ass. So, just saying. Just being honest. That's the brand name of it. Well, the name that's on it is Honest. So. But, uh. I really do hope folks are taking their preparedness serious. Um. Please take it serious. I. I the last thing I want to do is. is scare people manipulate them into doing something that they wouldn't normally do. 
But this is getting real. And I don't see it getting better. There are far too many things going on in far too many places for all of this just to subside and go back to quote unquote normal, whatever that looks like now. No. The bow is going to break on this ship and I want to say the ship of the West. And I don't know what things are going to look like on the other side of that. I kind of shudder to think about what things could look like on the other side of that. While I'm not a big fan of uh, the United States regime at this point, um, I am very concerned about the Chinese regime. So, but in the end, I still think they're all working together. I still think they're all working together. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I've got though. Um, I'll put all relevant links down below. Get ready. Seriously. That means going through your stuff, making sure your batteries are charged, making sure that you don't have any tubes or jars or bottles of anything that's exploded or anything like that. Uh, I did. We've got what I call the overflow bag. And it's, uh, it's just a duffel bag. It's a duffel bag that I got to take when me and my ex split. And I call it the overflow bag. And it's just got various stuff thrown in it and one of the things that it had in it was a bottle of body wash um, woman's body wash for Jen now normally she prefers bar soap but um, uh, I, I did go ahead and get her a thing of body wash and I put it in there just because if there's not quite as much water to be able to work with I think body wash should be a little bit of a better option versus bar soap that's just my thoughts so that's where I got it and I put it in there and I duct taped the lid shut and all that stuff and uh, well I guess I stacked something too heavy on that bag man it popped it popped that bottle open and I mean it split the bottle open and I had wondered for quite a while where the smell was coming from and where this weird colored stuff was coming from. This liquidy kind of stuff. When I very first saw it, I thought, you know, because it kind of reminded me of the nastiness of bearing grease. And if you know, you know. And, um, and no, it was just damn body wash. And so, yeah, I had, I, I spent at least a half a day cleaning up that mess <laughs> so be mindful of that but go through your go through your preps and stuff like that and make sure you don't have any kind of a nightmare like that going on and um just continue getting ready especially mentally and spiritually that is huge that is huge you can do a lot more with your mind and with with your faith than what you can with with your physical possessions you know I suppose it takes a combination of your mind and physical possessions but if you don't have the mind you wouldn't even know what physical possessions you need or what other items you could use in place for a particular physical possessions you know what I'm saying so just get ready Keep your eye on the news. Bookmark War News 24-7. That's a uh, legitimate source for information. And uh, obviously pray. That's something I shouldn't have to tell you to do. If the Father tells me to come here and give you an update, I will come here and give you an update. I'm not going to be disobedient to him. I'm not going to do it.
<laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Um, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's, no. <laughs> you know, they talk about the fear of God. It's real. <laughs> but I'm good with it. I'm not afraid of them in a sense that, um, you know, here's the thing. I asked him to drive the car. I asked him to take the wheel. It's because I kept screwing everything up. I kept putting the car in the ditch. And no matter what, I just kept putting the car in the ditch. And so I asked him, please, you know, take this. Well, that comes with the sacrifice of actually listening when he tells you something. So I might bitch, I might moan, I might even argue with him. But I'm damn well going to do it. Because I don't want him to schwack my pee-pee. That's no fun. That is no fun. Been there, done that. It, it, the big schwackens hurt. The big schwackens hurt. It's been like 11 years and... I'll never get where I was, but um, I learned my lesson, and the biggest blessing of it all is the connection that I have to him now is so strong. Um, the appreciation and the love I have for him is so strong. And so I may bitch, I may moan, I may not want to do it, I may not like it, but I'm going to. And why? Because that pee pee schwacking hurts. And, uh, and I respect that, I understand that, and I actually thank him for that. I asked him to drive this car. That goes along with whatever comes with it. So anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. Keep on those preps. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Shalom.